Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, long time no speak. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me video talking all about my move as well as my new job. I'm really excited to be sitting down with you guys and just giving a little life update and you know, just just talking because we're very chatty over here. I also want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. But before I get into today's video, I want to show some products that I was sent from Dior Beauty. You guys know I love the Dior Lip Beauty Glow Oils. Like, they're just amazing. Like, those deserve to be hyped up on TikTok. But Dior Beauty actually sent me a few products, so I just want to show you guys them really quickly. So last year when I first purchased the Dior Lip Glow Oils, I purchased them from DiorBeauty.com. And the packaging is just amazing, okay? It came in like this little um, white Dior bag with the Dior ribbon and Dior tissue paper. It was just... It was really amazing and this time the packaging was probably even better it came in this really pretty dior white box i'm definitely going to be reusing this and then inside they give you a card with your receipt and then dior tissue paper so everything comes packaged really really beautifully it also came wrapped in a white dior uh, ribbon as well okay so the first item i got is the miss dior or de parfum um this is the first time i've actually ever owned any fragrances from dior so i was very excited and i feel like this is one of their most popular fragrances like this is probably their signature fragrance so the notes on this are iris peony and lily of the valley the middle notes are apricot rose and peach and the base notes are vanilla, musk, tonka bean, benzoin, and sandalwood. So I had smelled this fragrance over a year ago, and when I purchased it this time, I didn't really remember what it smelled like, so I kind of blind bought it. But I'm really glad that I picked up this particular scent because it honestly smells so good. So you guys know I'm a big gourmand fragrance person. Like I love anything that smells like food. This fragrance, I will say, has a very kind of clean but gourmand scent to it. It's a perfect blend. So those top notes and those uh, middle notes are very white floral. They're very clean, kind of powdery. And then once you get to the, uh, the base notes, which is what the fragrance is going to smell like when it's fully dried down and set it onto your skin, it smells kind of like that sweet vanilla almost a little bit musky but powdery which i absolutely love i think that this is a great first fragrance this is going to be perfect if you want to buy someone a gift this is also great if you work in an office or you're around a lot of people it's not going to mess with anyone's nose i do actually wear this to work i also like to wear this when i'm running errands because i feel like i just smell like Put together and elegant i think this is great for a first date also i just really really like how this smells it smells really really good i got the 1.7 fluid ounce which is still pretty big it does come in a bigger size as well as a smaller size and i believe this bottle you can get customized uh, with charms i also picked up the dior backstage blotting powders it comes in this little black pouch and then inside this mirror and then the blotting powders are super cute they just say dior on them so very cute i like to use these while i'm working because i only wear makeup on the top half of my face and my forehead will get really um oily from the lights so i like to use this to blot my forehead in the bathroom so very cute and convenient i love that it comes with a mirror and another thing that i wanted to note is the dior lip glow oils you can actually now get personalized so you can get your name engraved on the side of them which i think is a really cute idea i personally like getting my beauty products engraved because i feel like it creates a memory um i just think it's super cute so the two shades that i have are raspberry and berry these are my two favorites and yeah everything that i mentioned from dior beauty will be down below also all the products that i use today in this video will be down below as well so if you guys want to see my little life update then definitely keep on hi everybody welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be sitting down and talking to you guys um i have tried to film this get ready with me a bunch of times actually but it just didn't come out how i wanted it to and also i think it's a little bit better that i'm filming it now actually because um i've been here for about three weeks so i can kind of update you guys on everything that's going on and give you like a true true life update so if you're not aware already or you haven't seen my vlogs my boyfriend and i did move to manhattan new york city um 
We already lived in New York City, like one of the five boroughs, but this is our first time living in Manhattan. So um, we're really excited. So we moved in um, end of February and that's when I started putting up my moving vlogs. I didn't have too many just because, I don't know, like the moving process, it took long, but there wasn't like a lot to film. I don't really know how to explain it. So first things first, why we decided to move to the city. Um, I personally always wanted to live here. I have never spent more than a week in Manhattan. Like I've stayed here for staycations, but I've never actually lived here. And my boyfriend has lived here, I think for maybe a few months, but nothing long-term. And it's something that we both always wanted to do. And we talked about it, like even when we first started dating, but um, we never knew when we were actually going to move. So the topic came up again um, earlier this year. Well, it's still kind of early this year, but it came up this year and we were like seriously considering it. And I was telling him, you know, like when looking for apartments, everything goes by really fast. It's not like buying a house, which um, takes months. Like I feel like when you are looking for an apartment, especially in New York City, um, I feel like apartments go by really, really quickly. So I was telling him like, you know, if you really want to move, um, we have to, if you find a place that you like, um, make sure that you really get on it because it can go pretty fast. So we decided to move and um, a few reasons why we wanted to move was one, we were always in Manhattan. Like we were here every single weekend and there's just i feel like there's just so much more to do here i love that everything is so local like i feel like no matter where you are in the city there is something close to you that you need um of course it comes with this pros and cons but i really love the idea of just walking out your door and everything just being right there and that's something that i've never experienced before and i really really wanted to try you know living that way so that was a big reason also another reason for me is you guys know i'm starting to get back into my content creation i feel like being in the city like there's just so much content that you can film i'm getting a little distracted because i bought this new mirror and it has a magnifying side and when i look to the side i just see my mouth moving so it's kind of freaking me out but i feel like just living in just any kind of busy city there's just so much content that you can film and i've been wanting to get back into my vlogs and just kind of boost up my channel and i feel i felt like living in the city would really really help that now with moving came some cons for me personally because you guys know i did start my um my lash business and it took me a very long time to build up my clientele i just knew me moving again um it would just take some more time for me to build up my clientele so that was a con for me but i did know someone that has a studio so i had reached out when she was you know hiring and i basically was trying to see if i could get a job somewhere in the city so before i get into the whole job thing we did end up moving we ended up finding a place we found a place super super fast and the moving process just happened very very quickly so our first big issue was moving everything i had tried to hire a moving company to do like a it's a moving company that does like brand collabs with influencers so i tried to hire them and they needed like a very very detailed list of everything that you want to move and I sent that over and they wanted you to give them like two ideal moving dates and I gave them my ideal moving dates and they didn't end up getting back to me until my first ideal moving date. So I sent my list like maybe, I don't want to say a week in advance, but like definitely maybe four or five days beforehand, I believe. And they didn't end up getting back to me on our ideal until our ideal move-in date so we had already started the process of moving like moving the big stuff that's why we wanted to hire someone because 
we needed help with like TVs, dressers, beds, just big stuff. But boyfriend's friends actually ended up helping us move everything. So that's why I didn't really have that much vlog footage of moving because like if you rent a u-haul you're on a time crunch right because especially if you're moving to manhattan that's why a lot of people hire moving companies because manhattan doesn't have a u-haul um sorry to keep on saying um they don't have a u-haul place so you have to drive it back because usually like with u-haul like say if you're driving across country you can rent your u-haul in the state that you're living in and then whatever state you move to you can just leave your u-haul there but manhattan from what i read does not have that so we were on a time crunch to move everything but moving everything was so fast like it there was i think five guys and it literally took them 15 minutes to move everything i was i was in shock i thought it was going to take i didn't think it was going to take all day but i did think it was going to take a lot longer than that so it moved very very quickly which i was very happy about and we ended up going taking them out to dinner later that night just for helping us because i don't know i feel like moving is kind of a bitch and <laughs> i would hate to ask like friends to be like hey you want to help me move i feel like that's kind of like annoying i don't know but we did end up taking them out to eat so once we got all of the big stuff moved in we had started to pack at least i started to pack like a week or two before i severely underestimated how much stuff that i actually had our first mistake was we didn't use moving boxes we use like these plastic moving bags i got from amazon and I thought that we could reuse them for like say doing laundry and stuff or like groceries which we can but these bags don't have any structure so say you want to like it's great for packing clothes and like things that are already in boxes but loose stuff like cups and dishes it was very tricky to pack that so that was my first mistake not getting moving boxes second mistake was i didn't really i underestimated how much stuff i actually have so like i'm sure you have a part in your closet a part of your closet or just whatever where you stick stuff and until you move you're gonna have to go through that stuff so i ended up throwing out like i threw out so much stuff i threw out that green plant that used to be in my background i threw out those rolling carts i was gonna bring one i had two of them i ended up getting rid of those i ended up getting rid of my mirror that i used to um film with i got rid of so much stuff and even that was like it i still had so much stuff granted we did think that we would have a little bit more time to move our stuff out but we were kind of again on a time crunch and it just it took so long side note i started using a more like um gray base contour it's from this uh charlotte tilbury palette which is unfortunately an addition but i really like this using it for my nose it took us multiple trips to move stuff because we didn't realize how much stuff we actually had and i really when i tell you i really tried my hardest to go through all of my stuff like i didn't want to bring more clutter with me but it was just like i couldn't i couldn't do it like i really tried to edit but it got to a point where we were so tired of going back and forth i just started throwing shit out like i was throwing anything and everything out i was just throwing everything out okay just so that we could finish this process as quickly as possible so i'd say that it took us about a week to fully get everything moved in um in the meantime i was starting to unpack stuff we started buying like small furniture for the apartment luckily we did already have a bunch of like big pieces so we didn't really need to buy anything uh the previous um tenant they left like a clothing rack which came in um very handy because i ended up using it for my clothes i already had a bigger rolling rack from um ikea that uh, my boyfriend is using and then um we already had like a table we just had to buy chairs and now it's basically we just have to buy little stuff like shower curtains like bath mats um like small stuff like that we do need to buy a couch 
but where I am now, this is probably going to be my filming setup. So I'm not really sure if I want to put a couch in here yet, but we probably will be entertaining and stuff. So um, it might be smart to get like a small two seater or maybe like some chairs. So while we were in the process of moving everything, I told you guys that I was looking at a studio and I ended up doing like a trial session there. And then I had to do like a bunch of models just so that I had pictures so that she could post on her page. Her studio specializes in this set called the mascara set. And I did it sometimes when I did my clients, I called it the wet set. And it's basically supposed to mimic like mascara. And I've actually had it done on me a few times. She was the first person that I ever heard of doing this set. And that's the first person that actually had did the set on me. But it's not something that I do often. So she wanted me to do a few models so that way I could practice as well as take pictures for her to promote. I'm also always going in between doing my brows straight or arched. Um, today, I think I might do them a little bit kind of arched, but also a little bit straight. So I'm gonna pull this out and then cover this down here. So yeah, I went to go do the models. The models, it went well. I took lots of pictures and I felt like after each set, I kind of got more comfortable doing it. So I actually started my job. My first day of my job was Monday. So today is Saturday, so it was Monday. And then I worked a second time um, Thursday. So Monday I only had two people, I had a huge gap. Um, which was kind of nice like just i didn't really have to do much and then um thursday i had i was supposed to have four people but i ended up only having three i met two of my co-workers i had seen them before when i did models but this was the first time i was like actually speaking to them and introducing myself and they all seemed pretty nice it's funny because the owner i actually knew her a while ago when she first started her lash business this was like when my boyfriend and i first started dating she wanted me to be one of her models for her page and i remember her business was named something else as well but i was one of her models and then i ended up taking one of her lash classes and it's really like nice to see how much she's grown like she's really built her business up a lot and it's very inspiring but I also will say I don't think I ever want to own a business because I just think it's just too like I don't think I would be well at managing people like that. I just don't think I could do that. But I'm really happy for all of her success. Like she did a really, really good job and I feel like she did it pretty like fast too i think she started in 2019 maybe 2018 it's now 2023 she has like a huge space she has like i maybe i think maybe like six or seven girls working for her which is like really cool so i'm really really happy for all of her success and i really do appreciate her you know letting me work for her basically i decided that i wanted to work in a studio because i knew that a lot of my clients wouldn't travel to me um, which was fine. It was something that I had spoken to my boyfriend about. I was like, you know, it's going to be basically me restarting all over again. And um, that's something that I always thought about. Like if I were, if we were to ever move somewhere, because I feel like a lot of times clients don't travel, but who knows? Like maybe some clients do. Maybe my clients don't really like me, but I just had this feeling like that my clients wouldn't travel to me, which was fine. And it's something that I had to keep in mind when moving. But I figured that there were a lot of other things that made up for it, like me just being in the city. There's tons of studios that I could potentially work at. And then just like I could also um, create content for my YouTube channel. So that was just some big things that determined our decision. So I know I haven't been wearing eyeliner on my eyes i went back to just doing the mascara which i really do like the look of this like i used to do this for years no eyeliner and also i started taking retaking some collagen from uh, vital beauty it's like a korean wellness brand and i have been taking biotin since december and i noticed that my hair has gotten a lot more healthy like if you guys don't know last year around 
I think it actually, oh, it's basically like almost a year. Um, in April, I tried to dye my hair with box like bleach dye to make it brown. And it ended up giving me a lot of breakage. Like, you guys see this hair right here? Imagine just this whole bottom section, just this length. Like my hair was breaking. And that's why I have so many of these little hairs on top because it's just straight breakage. So I have been taking biotin. I restarted taking biotin every single day and I feel like my hair is really, really growing out nicely. Um, it's starting to look shiny again because I was looking back at old videos and my hair used to be super shiny and I noticed that it wasn't as shiny as it um, used to be. And then I also noticed that my lashes are starting to look longer as well. You guys do know that I do my own lash lifts and I do use a mascara that has some lengthening, but they do look normal than usual to myself. So I feel like the biotin is helping um, my lashes, which I'm really excited about because I don't use any lash serums. I'm just really afraid of some of the side effects but they just, they do great results, but I'm just a little bit afraid of some of the side effects. But I feel like the, between the collagen and the biotin, it's like really helping my lashes and my hair. I also switched back to a brown mascara. This is from e.l.f. I really love brown mascaras. I feel like sometimes black, ma black mascara can make my lashes look very, um, like, I don't know, sometimes it looks a little too intense, which I do like, but I just wanted to try brown mascara again, and I love it. It looks so cute. The only thing about this mascara wand is it's kind of hard for me to separate and define my lashes, but it still gives them that kind of like volumized look, which I really like. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my lashes are so much longer. Um, this left eye looks longer because this eye is actually a monolid and this eye is regular because I have these two folds and for the longest time I used to even them, but this is why this lash looks longer than this side. Um, for my lips, I think I'm just going to line them. I've been really into just to like my Laneige uh, chapstick. I've just been using that lately, but today I'm gonna put a little Dior lip oil on. I'm gonna use the shade Raspberry. And then I'm gonna set my face afterwards with the setting spray. Okay, and this is the finished look. I just added my gloss and I just sprayed on my perfume. You guys smells so good it will be down below yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so nice chatting with you all please let me know if you guys have any video suggestions i do have a few in mind i want to do like some cafe hopping videos i definitely want to do a video about like the new york city workout classes to do for my wellness series and probably try a new restaurant. So let me know if you guys have anything in particular that you guys want to see. I will definitely keep the vlogs coming as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed my new editing in my vlogs also. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see us next time. Bye. Oh, the time